focus your attention on the breath, and try to stay centered right here. As for the rest of the world, it can spin around as much as it wants, but you don't want your mind to spin after it. You want to be settled right here, because otherwise you get blown around by the world. It's like it has eight winds. There's gain and then there's loss. There's status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These things spin around. Sometimes they're like tornadoes, sometimes they're like hurricanes, sometimes they're just gentle winds. But the winds are always blowing. And, but you don't want yourself to be blown around by them. The image they give in the canon is of a stone pillar, 16, pans, 16 spans long, 8 spans buried in the ground. So the wind comes, the pillar doesn't shake. In the same way as things go up and down and around in the world, you don't want your mind to be shaken by them. So you need a good place to hold on to. Otherwise you get blown off. So hold on to the breath. Hold on to your sense of the body here in the present moment. Make it as comfortable as you can. With long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow. Find what feels good for the body right now and stick with that. And then make that your center as you go through the day. It may be too much to ask to be with the in and out of the breath, but at least have a sense of the breath energy in the body, whether it's flowing well or not, whether it feels good or not. And if not, allow things to relax or allow things to spread out a little bit. And then as for the winds of the world, let them go past. Don't bring them into yourself. Our problem is our minds are like vacuum cleaners. We just suck things in, suck things in. Of course, vacuum cleaners mainly suck in the dirt. Then you complain about it. You've got all this stuff in your mind that you don't like. Well, you've been sucking it in all day. So let it pass. Let it pass. You can be in the midst of things and not let them come inside you. Let your, your awareness of the body fill the body so that nothing else can come in. Now we can live in the world and not be trashed by the world. Because as the world spins around, it doesn't spin innocently. It spins like gears in a machine. If your clothing gets caught in the gear, you get pulled in, pulled in, pulled in, and then it mashes you. So keep separate from the, the affairs of the world. You can use them, after all. Gain status, praise, pleasure. There are things that can be used. Just don't take them into the mind. See them as opportunities to do good when you get material gain or you gain status. Okay, think of it as an opportunity to develop some good qualities in the mind. And the good qualities are the, one, are the things you want to take with you. Because you can't take the money, you can't take the wealth, you can't take the status, but you can take the good qualities of your mind. So focus on developing those. Have a clear sense of what's inner wealth, what's outer wealth, what's of long-lasting value and what's of short-lasting value. And as for things that are short-lasting value, use them in a way that gives rise to long-lasting value in the mind. That way you can be said to be living in the world wisely.